Okay, this is Jolie here for Seconds Out, joined by Zach Parker. It's been a, a crazy week in boxing for, for Neil Marsh with two massive fights announced. And one of them, you're obviously um, fighting John Ryder, which came out of nowhere, but makes so much sense at the, yeah. at the same time at the O2 Arena. It's going to be a Frank Warren show as well. Um, how's the last week been for you? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Obviously, massive fight. Um, headline O2 as well. I've never even boxed O2, so to be headlining is amazing. Um, yeah, I, I just can't wait. Obviously, I've been out of the ring for a long time. Been over a year now, so yeah, uh, I'm buzzing for the fight. All British showdown as well makes sense. Does it mean a bit extra to you? Obviously, the the WBO interim world super middleweight titles on the line, but the fact that it's against another Brit as well at the O2, as you say, headlining. Yeah, obviously, yeah, uh, I've it's another step closer to, to that world title which Canelo's got. So yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Um, and obviously, it's a big fight. He's been in with uh, in, he's been in there with a lot of big fighters, like the likes of Khan Smith and that. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, a good night and good night for the fans as well because he's he he don't take a step um, step back. So yeah, uh, made the best man win. Yeah, you, you say a big fight. Would you assess this as the toughest test you've ever had? Yeah, definitely on paper. This is definitely the biggest fight of my career so far. And um, these are sort of nights what I've been waiting for. Um, massive fights and especially like uh, to be at the O2 as well. Um, such an iconic uh, venue in London. So, And obviously around the world. But yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a good night of boxing. Yeah, 100%. Um. You just mentioned there, Canelo, we never know what he's doing. Um, but being in this division, this is almost the, the second best thing, isn't it? Because the best thing is the world title. But you're almost there now. It must be frustrating being in the division with someone like Canelo, though. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Obviously, he's got all the belts in a minute, but this is another step closer. Get the interim world title, then there's nowhere for him to hide. Um, obviously... He lost to Bivol not long ago, and uh, I think he might want to go up and try and have, uh, revenge, get revenge on him. So, uh, get this interim title, and uh, if he if he wants to go back up, he's got to vacate. And if he does, I'll be get made straight world champ, uh, yeah. straight to world champion. So, yeah, this is a very important uh, fight for me, and one I need to win. Yeah, of course. John Ryder's fought for a world title before, came so close. A lot of people thought he beat Callum Smith. What sort of um, problems are you preparing for with John Ryder? Yeah, yeah, he's, um, like you said, I, I thought um, he just nicked it against Callum. Uh, but obviously, when you're the A side, you got a you get the nod um, mm. when you're the A side. So yeah, he's, he's going to keep coming. He's going to be relentless, wanting to come forward. But um, I just think my best beats anyone else's best, and. Uh, You've seen before, he's been out of box, uh, likes of Billy Joe um, there's a few other fights. But yeah, I think I think I'm just coming into my prime now. I'm just I'm 28. Uh, he's getting he's getting on a bit now. It's, it's 30. I think it's like 34, 35, something like that. So yeah, I think it's just right time for me, and uh, everyone, it, everyone will see it on November 26th. Yeah, this is um such a good domestic fight like I say that that was a bit surprising but how how did you first hear about it was it Frank speaking to you about who could it be next I heard I've just spoken to Neil Marsh as well Edgar Belanga was the other option yeah yeah um obviously Andre pulled out again didn't he so we had to look down the list there was a few fights there obviously Belanga was one uh, and John Ryder but obviously I think this one made more sense both being from Britain um, but definitely there's some big big names out there for me to fight once I win once I beat uh, John Ryder there's a lot of Benavidez Belanga these are the next up and come ones uh, same as same as myself so yeah there's some massive fights out there and uh, ones that I'm really looking forward to um, but first get John Ryder out of the way yeah, of course. Now you mentioned a second ago as well, being the A side, sometimes you tip to get that decision. But I'm I'm speaking from experience, Zach Parker doesn't always like to go to the distance, and that's probably not the plan. Twenty sixth of November. Yeah, so I I don't go out there to for decisions. I go out there to knock people out, and that's what the fans want to. That's what what the fans want to see. Don't want to see knockouts. Don't want to see 
someone mm-hmm. pity patting or for the next for 12 rounds so yeah, yeah. i'd definitely go out have to make a statement and to knock john Ryder out how would you sum up this last year then um being close to fighting at your boyhood club that being ripped apart but now you're fighting at the o2 headlining in a massive domestic fight as well it's a roller coaster and um looking good right now but how would you kind of sum it up up until this point and this fight was announced yeah yeah obviously um been frustrating yeah meant to be fighting at Pride Park and we sold a lot of a lot of tickets for that. We sold over ten over ten thousand tickets for that. So yeah, it's a bit frustrating obviously to all the fans who wanted to go, but get this one out of the way and I'll be fighting there again when the season's over, when the football season's over. So yeah, it's um effing's time in it and obviously with boxing when you're at the top level you just gotta be patient and wait for your time. Uh and my time is going to be coming on November twenty sixth when I'm headline at O two. So it can't, it can't get much better than this. Only, there's not many people in boxing terms gets the headline at the O2 and I'm going to be one of them. Yeah, exactly. It's going to feel even sweeter. As you said, if Pride Park's still in the plans, it's going to feel even sweeter when, when we get there eventually. That's fair. Is Andrade a fight you'd still like to have or will you just not want to fight him because of the last few months? I feel like he's just messing me back too much now. I've... Um... Obviously, the first time he said it was a shoulder injury, but I don't believe that. Uh, I think he wanted to come straight up from, and he thought the WBO was going to make him straight mandatory for Canelo, but the WBO stuck behind me. I've been I've been in mandatory spot for like two years now, so it made sense for him to fight me first and see if he's at the level at Super Midway as well. So, yeah, and then obviously the second time he, he, he's nowhere to be seen, is he? And uh, yeah, if it, if it ever did come out, he'd have to get into the number one spot and try and fight me, because I ain't going to give him any favors, am I? <laughs> um, I want to ask on the John Ryder fight back to back to twenty six. Uh, I just spoke to Neil and he mentioned how he wanted to make sure there was drug testing and stuff because of the the recent um scandal with Conor Ben. Was that Neil's decision or was that yours? Being that obviously, if Conor tests positive, you never know who else in the gym could potentially be. Or, or could could potentially be testing positive as well. Yeah, I I, just, I was like VOD testing in every one of my fights. I think every box should be VOD tested. Um, it's a hard sport as it is, so we don't want like don't want to get like it, it's a really bad it's a really bad um thing to come into this sport sort of sport. It's a bit different when it's like cycling or something like that. Like mm. it's not contact. It's they just you know, they're just training to get a better better lap or whatever in this sport it's like handing someone a baseball bat uh, in their hand and fighting so yeah we, I just like body testing all fights I didn't, I didn't even think about if it's John Ryder or that gym or whatever it don't really matter to me that then it's just I wanted body testing like I, like I was getting body testing for the Andre fight so yeah, yeah I think every most especially at top level every boxer should uh, get body tested um, obviously you get you you boiling down to the weights and whatever, and it's a dangerous sport. As it is so, yeah, it's uh, it's just something what we always add into it when it's a big fight. Yeah, and it certainly is a big fight to to end off what's been a strange year for you. But obviously, uh, with a win, you can go to Christmas happy as uh happy as you've ever been as a professional boxer. That's it. That's it. Obviously. Got my kid on the way. She's due uh, three weeks, so mm-hmm. get that one out of the way, and then uh, <laughs> then my fight. So uh, Miss is gonna have a hard few weeks at first, three weeks. I won't be around, but yeah, Christmas is gonna be a good one this year. <laughs>